Hey guys, it's me Stace. Today we are using our brother's scan and cut machine to make this adorable little birdhouse box. How fun is that? All right, let's go to the computer and we will get started. All right, here we are at the computer. I already have the Canvas workspace open. I'm also using a desktop version. The very first thing it brings up is this Canvas project pattern collection window. Inside the search box here, type in the word bird and then click on enter. This will bring up all the bird projects along with the one that we are making which is this one here, the Birdhouse gift box. Go ahead and click on that. You see it has a mat A and a mat B. Mat A is for the box itself, and then mat B is for the roof piece and also the heart cutouts. Go ahead and click on mat A to send that to our workspace. Move this out of my way. We can see we now have that piece inside our canvas. Now I'm gonna send this to my machine. Top toolbar, go ahead and click on File, Export, and then click on Transfer, then click OK. I'm going to go to my machine, cut this piece out, come back to the Canvas workspace, and delete this piece. Then bring back our pattern collection window and go in and click on Mat B to bring that inside the workspace. Now we can close this window out. This piece here is for the roof. This is for the exterior of the box, the little heart cutouts. Then these pieces here are for the acetate. I'm going to go ahead and cut that out myself, so I'm going to go ahead and delete these two pieces. Now I can send this part to my machine as well. So back up top, click on File, Export, Transfer, then click OK. I'm going to cut everything out, go to the table, and put our box together. All right, we are back. As you can see, everything is cut out. I also went ahead and cut down some plastic bag that I had. I used this rather than using acetate for the openings, and I cut these to both be two and a quarter by two and a half. All right, so we're going to set everything aside and work on our box. Go ahead and just press on all the score marks. Then we'll go back in with our bone folder to give them a better crease. This is such a cute little box. All right, let's take our bone folder. And give all that a better crease. these guys up here. All right, so I think I got them all. Actually, there's one more right here on the side. And on this side as well. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is thread our ribbon through. I have a super long piece of ribbon. We're going to go from the bottom on this side and bring it all the way through to the bottom on this side as well. You want to leave yourself room to tie a bow. You want to make sure it's not twisted. Then take this end. It's going to go on that second one come through and then go back through this side. Again, just make sure your ribbon is not twisted up. Do the same thing on this one. So take this end, go in the second one, and then through this one. All right, so we have those done. Now let's work on a little acetate window. So I'm using Barely Art Glue, and I'm just taking a little smidgen and going right around the heart cutout, going as close as possible. Then take our piece of acetate or a plastic baggie, whatever one you're using, and then plop that on there. Oop. Let me go ahead and fix that, it slipped on me. Let me cut another piece. So another piece right here, let me go ahead and cut it down to two and a quarter by two and a half. All right, and again, we're gonna put glue around it. You wanna hold on to your plastic baggie. Okay, so put 
put that on there, hold it down, then kind of dab it down. All right, I'll let that dry, flip it over and do this side. Okay, and our second piece. come back to this piece and just lift it up on the bottom and just to put a little bit more glue down there just to make sure it stays in place. Okay, and then do the same for this one and we can, start, we can start assembling our box. I think this box would be so cute for a baby shower box. You could put like a little egg in there like a pink egg or a blue egg for like a gender reveal that kind of thing. All right so we have these little flaps right here. We're going to put glue on those flaps and I want to go as close to the edge as possible. And I'm going to bring this up. I just have it meet. Oh, look, before I do that though, you want to put your outside piece on. All right, so I'm going to go to finish this one. You want to put your outside hearts on before you do this part. glue kind of grab. All right, now I'm going to grab my little hearts over here. And I just found a, a ribbon that I had and a cardstock that kind of matched it. Now I put some glue in the hearts and I'm going to dab off a lot of the excess. Then bring it over here and put it on the outside to frame the heart out. Really cute. I'm going to flip it over and just kind of dab on it from the inside just to make sure it sticks. And then do this side. It's a nice size little box, too. I'm guessing it could probably hold a few candies or trinkets. And I love that you don't need to destroy the box to get to the inside. Just simply untie the bow, take the roof off, and you got your goodies. All right, so we have that one. I'm just going to put glue on these flaps over here. I'm going to do this side as well. You want to go as close to the edge as possible on the fold. And bring this over. Line it up. And do this guy as well. Give that glue a second to kind of grab. You can also stamp on the on the piece of cardstock for the base of the box for to make it be more decorative. All right, there we have it. So separate our ribbon. We already creased these guys pretty good. Just go ahead and sit them there. Then we have the roof panel. There is a score mark in the center. I'm gonna find that, fold on it, and take your bone folder and give it a better crease so we have a nice sharp roof. Then you're gonna take this end of your ribbon and go under the roof on this side into that other slot. Just like that. And do this side as well. Again, try to make sure your ribbon is not twisted up. Kind of hold the roof in, bring it up. You don't want to pull super hard, but I'm using like a little cardstock on my roof, so you don't want to pull too hard to where you tear it. All right, now we're just going to simply tie it into a little bow. So cute. I, mean, I absolutely love this. This is so cute on so many levels. Okay. This is the hardest part. I'm trying to get a bow tied up here. We'll go for it. But so to access the treats on the inside, just untie the ribbon and pull the roof off. All right, let's fix our bow. We're just pulling on the tails, making the bow smaller, then tugging. I'm gonna kind of bring it more over this way. Not 
the perfect bow, but that's okay, right? You're going to cut your tails off. You can see I use way too much ribbon, but you want to leave enough ribbon to where when you untie it, um, the person you're giving it to, they can tie it back up and keep it as a little memento. How cute. I mean, that is just adorable. I'm in love with this box. So there's the yellow one with the green window covering. And here's the orange one with the yellow window covering. I kind of like the green better because it kind of matches the, um, the ribbon. But super cute, very fun little project. Um, treat holder. It can probably hold a few cookies that you can see. I love little windows so you can see inside and get the goodies. And, and again, to untie it, to get to the goodies, just untie the ribbon, take the roof off, and you can access that and then put it back together. If you always, if you want to, you can, if the person wants to keep it, they can always glue the roof down to those little flaps that we folded down as another option so they can keep it as a little memento. All right, guys, there you have it. Our brother skin and cut project for today. Any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.